My name is Denise Gordon, and welcome to another installment of D Vibes Heat of Soul. And this is my vlog or vlog, as some I've heard some people say, uh, that talks that is my platform for my life, the music that I that has impacted me and affected me, and uh, the songs that I love to sing. None of that in any particular order, but music is a part of my life. And this is actually the fourth installment, even though, you know, my producer said, well, what's, what are you going to do when you get to your 38th installment? Blessed if I get to a 38th installment. But um, the, the installment that I had queued up that I didn't send out um, was no longer appropriate. Because in the meantime, before I can put it out, George Floyd happened. And George Floyd, who was clearly, clearly a, a lightning rod for everything that we've seen, the level of expression, protest, rage, anger that we have seen, not only here in the United States, but folks who have tuned in and felt connected to what was happening here and the wrongness of what was happening here. So this is my way of participating in that protest. And so as I looked for a song that was appropriate for the mood of my mood, the mood of the country, the mood of the nation, I looked inside my music because I did indicate that I would start, you know, mixing in the songs that I have. I do have a CD that I, I recorded, oh, seemingly a hundred years ago, but maybe 10 years ago, called Wangu Wei. Um, here you'll probably look at it as Wangu Wei. It's not Wangu Wei because the title is actually in Swahili, which means you are mine, Wangu Wei. And when I looked in the collection of my music of 10 years ago that I recorded, I found the perfect song. When I embarked on, when I was ready to record my music, I was living in Kenya at the time. And Kidum, who was a very popular musician at the time, but he was from Burundi and I spent a lot of time in Burundi. And so we, we were always friends. And he said, Denise, when you are ready to record, I have the producer. For you and I'm like I'm ready and he took me to um, I guess it was Westlands and right on there on Riverside and I walked into this you know everyone's recording studio is you know was a house formally and I walked in and I saw what looked like this 12 year old boy by the name of RK Kamanzi and he wasn't 12. He just looked, his presentation was real young. And what happened was the, the, the beginning of an amazing um, partnership, friendship, collaborator, and dear, absolute dear friend to date. And so I worked with um, RK on um, producing my first album. That first album was a lot, it was really my, my life story, my diary put to music, I used to say. Because what am I going to reference when, I, when, I, when I'm singing, when I'm making up and I'm creating songs? I'm going to reference my life. That was easiest. And so it was a lot about love gained, love lost, um, my desire to have a child. Uh, some of the themes also was my reverence to God, as well as my reverence or my outlining the condition of the black man in America in Africa, in the world. We recorded, and I cannot even think of the name of the recording studio, but it was a big one, um, but it was near Choices. 
down on Barigo Road in Nairobi. And I went and I knew the song that I wanted to, I wanted to, to write. And it was that day that I was going to write Black Man, but I needed space and I just needed time to figure it out. And I walked out of the studio and I sat, um, they had tables outside of Choices and I sat there and I wrote the song Black Man. And in Black Man, it really is this, it, it turned into this historical timeline of the challenges of black men have in Africa and also have in America. And so I'm just gonna share that with you. And it warms me, well, it warms me and it makes me sad at the same time that things have changed, but they really haven't. Gathered in chains and placed in the halls. The middle passage was not kind. Il de Gore to the Cape Coast. Temporary storage for black mines. Was fought in foreign lands. For America's hopes Instead they hung like strange fruit At the end of a road America was built On the slave condition And a new constitution With only three and five recognition Black man in America What have you become? Your manhood threatens them and keeps you on the run. Black man from Africa, what have you become? Your manhood threatens them and keeps you on the run. Hey. Snakes down through Middle Africa, shores bloodied by countless wars. For all these riches, people die from the greed that festers and soars. Sudan and Somalia, millions suffer, long forgotten in their youth. Your black man from Africa. Where does your future lie? It's with your women and your children, not the guns that make them cry. Black man in the world, no history has not been so kind. But remember your back will break no matter how hard they try. What have you become? Keeps you on the run. What have what have you become? Oh no, It's interesting when you're when you're going through when you're writing something or creating something you don't know when it's time has come and definitely this song it's time is now the attention the focus is now oh boy um, those chants man I when there's alignment it's it, it's powerful and those powerful chants were done by uh, musician Helen Akoth, also another dear friend uh, from Kenya. And um, I just love the way it's been a while, actually. I, I hadn't listened to it in a while. And I just, 
I'm just so appreciative that I had an opportunity to create that and for it to have its, its relevance and its place. I wish the message was different, but it's, it's still valid, it's still the same. And I, I was listening to my church services this, this morning and he was saying that the reverend was the, the minister was saying that, you know, we don't want, you know, they tried, they, you know, don't want to, to, they try to break our backs. And I was like, wow, that was, that's my line, you know, but remember your back won't break because we are people of strength. And your backs won't break no matter how much they try.